Hi everyone. Welcome to my home and welcome to Storytime with Spoons Across America and me, Miss Clarice. I'm really excited to read today's story with you. Our story is titled Tortillas Are Round or Las Tortillas Son Redondas, a book of shapes. Can you say our new word together with me? Redondas. Redondas. One more time. Redondas. Great job. So I want you to get ready for our story song. Do you remember it? And it goes a little something like this. S-T-O-R-Y. S-T-O-R-Y. Story. 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 Boom. Now you're ready to listen and learn. Today's story is set in Mexico. There will be some words that you probably don't recognize, but that's okay. I'll teach them to you and you can practice at home. Tortillas are round. Las tortillas son redondas, a book of shapes. Written by Roseanne Greenfield Thong and illustrated by John Para. Round are sombreros. Round is the moon. Round are the trumpets that blare out a tune. I see some sombreros right here and here and here. Can you say our word together with me? Sombreros. Sombreros. One more time. Sombreros. In Spanish, sombreros mean hats. Round are campanas that chime and ring. Round are the nest where swallows sing. Hmm, this is a campana. I wonder what the word campanas means. That's right, it's a bell. Great job. Round are tortillas and tacos too. Round is a pot of abuela's stew. Abuela means grandma. I can name more round things. Can you? A basketball? A soccer ball? Yeah, that's right. An orange? Well, what do you know? I have an orange right here. Squares are the letters, we know them well. Square is a board game to help us spell. Squares are ventanas that give a view. Square is my clock and my photos too. So here is the square and she's looking through this ventana Bantanas are windows. Let's try it together. Bantanas. One more time. Bantanas. Square is the park and the zocalo. Square is a fountain from long ago. How many square things do you know? How many square things do you know? Let's hear your answers out there. A gift box? A cracker? Great, pretty clever. So here's a word, Zocalo. Zocalo is a main square in Mexico. There's probably a main square or downtown area where you live, where people gather to eat, to shop, or just enjoy each other's company and participate in entertainment. Let's try a new word together. Zocalo. 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 I hear you out there. You're doing such a great job. Rectangles are carts with bells that chime. And cold paletas in summertime. 
Hmm, these paletas look kind of like our popsicles. Paletas in Mexico are fruit bars. Delicious. Some metates inside our casa help us grind our corn to masa. Metates are stone grinders that help with making food. Rectangles are flags that fly above the scoreboard way up high. How many rectangles do you spy? Hmm, there's a lot of rectangles over here. Let's see if we can count them. One, two, three, four, five, six. There's so many, too many to count. Triangles are crunchy chips for guacamole and other dips. I like guacamole. Do you know what the main ingredient is that makes guacamole? Have you seen one of these before? It's an avocado. Triangles sail on the breeze. They line the shore and glide on seas. Sandias chilled in tubs of ice, quesadillas by the slice. Triangles can beat the heat. What other triangles can you eat? I'd love to hear your responses. What other triangles can you eat? A slice of pizza? A slice of pie? Yeah, those are all great and delicious. So we have another new word here, sandias or watermelon. Sandias? Sandias? You try. Sandias. Oval is my favorite locket, a special pebble in my pocket. I find ovals at the store. Huevos, olives, beans galore. Can you name a couple more? Stars for parties, stars for light, lining streets with colors bright. There are so many shapes wherever you go. How many more shapes do you know? So today's book we learned about squares, triangles, rectangles, and ovals. Can you think of some other shapes that you see around your home or neighborhood? A rhombus? Wow, way to go. An octagon, yeah, that's a shape, and a hexagon and a pentagon. Any more shapes? A trapezoid. Great job. There are shapes everywhere. I hope you enjoyed today's story. To review some of the vocabulary words we learned today, participate and complete more activities, or to listen to more stories, please visit us at www.spoonsacrossamerica.org. That's www.spoonsacrossamerica.org. See you next time.